they're finally all here and it's time to get our tires and wheels on the truck. We're Riley and Courtney Casey. Driven by a desire to learn new skills and challenge ourselves, we spent three months building our version of the Ultimate Expedition Vehicle. With the build coming to an end, it's time to hit the road and spend every second we can exploring, learning new skills, and sharing our passion for building things. So buckle up and follow along, because this is Ambition Strikes. I cannot believe how much better these new Bilstein shocks are on roads like this. With the stock shocks, this was almost unbearable, and now it's easy, pleasant to drive on. I was literally just thinking the exact same thing. It's amazing. All right, home sweet home for the night. Life hack I discovered on the road, if you buy this salad kit, it comes with all of the toppings you need to make tacos, already cut up and ready to go. Cabbage, lettuce, carrots, taco cheese, green onions, crispy corn, and cilantro avocado ranch dressing. Then all you have to do is make rice and ground beef and you got tacos. <laughs> He's in timeout. Can you let that little bush tell you where to go? <laughs> We thought they were like old homesteads or something, but it's just a big pile of rocks from an RC car. <laughs> you don't drive like that when you're driving the real Jeep. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, woo! <laughs> now what? Look at it now. <laughs> the little RC cars are super fun. Highly recommend having one. They're so small, they don't take up any space and you can throw them in the camper or on a wheeling trip. I'm gonna put a link in the comments below to where you can find them online. But if you guys can shop local instead, that would be awesome. And I was surprised to find that the hobby shop sold them for the same price as Amazon, so might as well buy it local. Check out your local hobby shop and get yourself a fun little toy. We got the call, our wheels have arrived, and we are going to go pick them up right now and then go meet up with our tires and mount them. Super excited, this has been a long time coming. Gordy's been spending a lot of time trying to coordinate all these efforts. And finally, we're gonna get our new tires wheels on Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We haven't seen the wheels yet, so this is gonna be good. Hopefully they're what we ordered. <laughs> and hopefully there are five of them and they are all the correct size. We're currently running a 285 75 18 Falcon Wild Peak AT. These have been a great tire in the snow. They're rated for 4,080 pounds, which is plenty for this truck. Um, but we decided to upgrade to a 37 inch tall tire, which is two inches taller than this tire. Um, Give us a little more off road traction, smoother ride, and looks cooler.
my buddy Chris just gave me some soapy water. He said it'll help. We'll see what happens. On a traditional tire, that would be it. All you would do is you would mount the tire on the rim and then you would inflate it and the tire would inflate outward and push against the rim and that would be how your bead was seated. With a beadlock wheel, you actually are clamping the tire to hold it into place. And we'll tell you why that's kind of cool later. Whenever you're trying to torque something circular, you need to make sure that you're torquing it evenly. So just like when you mount a wheel, a wheel on the truck and you're supposed to go in a star pattern, you're supposed to do the same thing when you're torquing the wheel down that's sandwiching the tire to the rim. Otherwise you can end up with weird warping. So what I did is I used painter's tape and I went and numbered and I split into four quadrants. So I tighten number one here, then I come over here then I come over here, and then I come over here, and then same thing, two, two, and that's gonna help me torque it down in a really even way. You're also not supposed to just, you know, torque number one all the way to 20 foot pounds and then go to the next one. You need to work your way up. That's also gonna help seat this ring onto the wheel evenly so that you have even uniform pressure. you guys I'm like an hour in I have one mounted I go to start mounting the next one I'm standing right here and I go oh no what did we forget forgot to put the valve stems in and now you can't you have to do them before you oh. <laughs> you have to do that before you mount them I have to start all over We got the first wheel mounted with the valve stem and now we're gonna put air in it which will seat the back bead. So this back bead is not a bead lock, it's a normal bead. So we need to put air in the tire and that will push it out and seat it in this slot here. I'm gonna use the soapy water to make sure that the bead got seated and we don't have any leaks. Sweet. All right, hurry up and mount the rest of them. It's so much work. All right, I got a, a funny story for you guys. The bolts came all prepackaged in these little bags. They're supposed to look like this. But the last bolt in the bag is the wrong bolt. Completely wrong bolt got put in the bags. Our buddy Chris had a temporary bolt that we're able to use until we can get the right color bolt. He's so busy admiring the tire and wheel that we already put on that he keeps getting distracted. These little clips that hold the brake rotors on the studs were actually hitting our wheels. Uh, so we need to take those off.
Holy cow, I am exhausted. Finding five wheels with 28 bolts per wheel works out to 140 bolts. My hands are raw, but the truck looks so good. It's the transformation that we've really been waiting for and have been super excited about. So huge thanks to Toyo and Trail Ready Wheels for making this happen. We're running the Toyo HE3 all-terrain tires in a 37 by 12 and a half for a 20 inch wheel. This tire is rated for 3,750 pounds. It's a load range E tire. So they exceed the rear axle weight rating and front axle weight ratings of our truck and well exceed the GVWR of our truck. The wheels that we're running are trail ready HD 20 inch bead locks. This wheel is rated for 3,800 pounds. So more than the tire weight rating. Uh, and is a race proven, super strong, USA made wheel. We decided to go with a 20 inch rim for a couple of reasons. One, it allowed us to get a higher weight rating tire. You can get load range E tires in both 17 inch wheels and 20 inch wheel sizes, but the ones for the 20s have a higher weight rating and that's important. Another advantage of going to a 20 inch wheel is it gives us a lower profile sidewall. A lot of people want a higher profile sidewall when off-roading, but this truck is heavy and we do a lot of pavement driving. And for pavement driving, having the, the smaller sidewall actually gives us more stability and a better on-road uh, handling characteristics. Now, because we went with a 37 inch tire, we still have plenty of sidewall for off-road use. The decision to choose a beadlock wheel was a tough one. And ultimately they decided that the pros outweighed the cons. When making a decision on, on wheels, a lot of the aftermarket wheels that we came across had shockingly low load ratings. We personally know people that have had aftermarket wheels fail on heavy rigs, especially with campers in the back, and we did not want to put ourselves in that situation. As you already saw, a beadlock wheel mounts the tire in an untraditional way. This outer ring actually clamps the tire to the wheel. By clamping the tire to the wheel, we're able to confidently run lower tire pressure uh, when off-road, and we know that we're not going to lose this bead like you might if you didn't have a beadlock wheel. Having this big, heavy truck where we're frequently out by ourselves, you know, we, we want to know that our tire is going to stay attached to the wheel. Also by running a beadlock wheel, as you've seen, we're able to assemble and disassemble the tires onto the wheel by ourselves without any tools. We don't need special tire changers and we can do it ourselves. So the serviceability aspect of the beadlocks are really cool and they offer a lot of performance upgrades over a traditional wheel. One of the major drawbacks of running beadlock wheels is maintenance. There's 28 bolts per wheel that need to be rechecked for torque periodically, or you could end up with a situation where the bolts fail and the tire separates from the wheel, and that's gonna be a bad day. There's a lot of confusion out there about DOT ratings. The DOT ratings have to do with how the wheel is labeled and how the tire mounts to the wheel. So these wheels aren't DOT rated because these tires don't mount to them in the traditional way that a DOT tire mounts on a DOT wheel. Uh, we're not concerned by that because the wheel is rated for the weight and the application that we're using it in. These wheels are tested and abused in the toughest racing conditions that can possibly exist from the King of the Hammers to the Baja 1000. And we are confident in their ability to handle the, the load and the use that we are going to put on them. If you're considering beadlock wheels, you should do your own research and make your own decision. This is what we chose to do and we're happy with our choice. We've put about a thousand miles on this tire and wheel combo so far and we've been really impressed. The tires are quiet and smooth on the highway and off-road, the larger size has really helped smooth out some of the small bumps that we've been on.